Mr. Gentleman from New Jersey, and let me now yield the balance of our time to a dynamic new member of the House, Representative Stacey Plaskett. Thank you so much for that introduction. And Madam Speaker, I rise today in support of, president, of our president's action toward making our community safer by ensuring guns are less likely to end up in the hands of people who shouldn't have them. I want to thank my colleagues, uh, Congressman Jeffers and Congresswoman Beatty, for bringing this hour here in Congress, and I'm thankful for the Congressional Black Caucus's Special Order Hour for taking time to educate the American people of the importance of our President's action. While this Congress, and in particular our Republican colleagues, have hemmed and dithered and engaged in political inertia, and at the end failed to act in this matter, Suspected terrorists are free to legally purchase combat-style weapons. American cities and other areas of this country are besieged by gun crime, and thousands of lives are cut short. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, guns cause twice as many deaths in young people as cancer, five times as many as heart disease, and 15 times as many as infections. Yet. We afford no funding for research and empirical data collection, while at the same time we spend hundreds of millions researching mitigating the effects of those other maladies. Every day this Congress fails to act, more American families mourn, more American lives are cut short, many in their prime, and more American cities continue to mount homicide and shooting statistics. Even in America's paradise, my home district of the United States Virgin Islands, this is so. In 2015, there were 40 homicides in the U.S. Virgin Islands. On a per capita basis, that homicide rate is more than double that of the city of Chicago. Gun violence in cities like Chicago, Los Angeles, and in other places, along with the United States Virgin Islands, sadly, are a near daily occurrence. And while we pause for moments of silence after mass shootings like the ones in Newtown or San Bernardino, the thousands of victims of mass shootings that play out daily in cities like New York City and the U.S. Virgin Islands go largely unnoticed and unrecognized. We want to bring these things to the people's um, voice right now, let people be aware of what's happening. And while the President's actions will undoubtedly save lives, we know the communities like our own, of many minority communities across this country, there needs to be more comprehensive action to address the underlying issues that are at the root of gun violence. So I want to ask that this Congress act on these things. This Congress has in its power the ability to save thousands of lives. Let us not allow the nearly daily occurrence of mass shootings to become the new norm. We must act to pass comprehensive gun legislation in this Congress this year. Thank you so much, and I yield the balance of my time. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. I yield back.